Hello everyone and welcome to the Trade Ideas Live Trading Room Recap for Tuesday, July the 9th. My name is Barry Anderson, moderator of your trading room. Any questions you may have, you can use this email address. And this is a link to get into our free room. You, don't have, you do not have to be a member of Trade Ideas to be in our free trading room. I open the room every morning at 9 o'clock Eastern Time. That's when I start to share my screen. Get live on the mic at about 9.05 and I go up to 3.30 Mondays to Thursdays and up to 3 o'clock on Fridays. Uh, there is a promo code in the email that you're getting for a 15% discount off the first month or the entire year of a Trade Idea subscription. So a bit of a strange day for me. I didn't trade that much. I only, uh, there are only a couple of trades, in fact, and uh, this is one I, I kind of missed. Uh, but many, many in our trading room, of course, got this one. Uh, the, the interesting thing for me is that this one did the reverse split yesterday. A one for 25 reverse split. You know, and, and really it did nothing. You can see, you know, there, there, there was, um, it opened around 292 and it just, or 290, whatever. And it just uh, closed around 192 and a one for 25 reverse split. So this morning I'm greeted with this little news they had. Now, basically the news was that they had closed on a, on a acquisition that they, that they had been targeting. So it was kind of old news. I mean, the acquisition was going to take place and basically they just said we closed. So when I saw that, I thought, yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> I just, I just, you know, assumed that this would just kind of fall from there, but I was completely and utterly wrong. Now on the 15, no entry really. Okay. Uh, maybe on the five there could have been, but there's no entry. You, you would have been just chasing it, but man, oh man, what a move. Uh, 252 all the way up to four, five. And then even just recently, it just popped up to uh, 520. So a lot of people in, in the trading room were involved in that one, which is great. Um, again, I probably let the news uh, give me a little more bias than it should have, you know, negatively, but uh, you just never know. Now, another one that had a reverse split yesterday, and I'm still trying to figure out why they did, was Lending Club, LC. And again, the same thing. They did the reverse split and it just fell. And it got all the way down to 1406 this morning. And look at the pop of it, $1.50. I'm not sure why they did a reverse split. It was a, five, a one for five. So the stock was in the three range, the two something range. Usually when companies are doing reverse splits, it's because uh, they want to regain a NASDAQ listing. You know, the stock is under a dollar and they, and they have to regain their NASDAQ listing to get that stock over a dollar. Uh, I'm sure there's another reason. There has to be a reason. I didn't delve into it. I just thought it was a little strange. Now, the other one that did a reverse split yesterday that hasn't done anything yet, but, you know, have to watch these going forward. S Fund, another one for five reverse split. This is, didn't do anything yesterday, has done nothing today. Now, again, I always say if these guys are smart, and when I'm talking about these guys, I'm talking about, um, you know, the, 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 uh, you know, I'll use the word promoters. You know, they'll try to put out a, a little press release to, to get the interest back, kind of like what CEI did. Now, the one I did take today was CTMX, and it certainly made my day. Um, hoping it was, I was hoping it would go a little bit further, but first of all, to, to find out why I took this trade, you really have to look at the weekly chart. And if you follow me enough, you know that this is what I absolutely love. You know, you look, you look, you look at a big, big void right here. And now the only problem is, is that the 200 day moving average, I think is 1350. So it's, it's, you know, I wish it were a little further above, but anyway, looking at this, I thought, okay. Now it actually had some news too. So let me get to the 15. So it had some news and I entered this trade right here at 1177. And I know it looked like a chase, but I thought that the news just seemed to be too good. The, the, uh, the spread was decent. And of course I love that void. Oh, I know why, because if I look at the daily chart, had to look at the at the uh, weekly chart. Sorry. Yeah, you can see right there. This is what I was talking about in the room. You look at the high of that weekly candle. That's eleven sixty nine. Uh, this one is eleven. Uh, Got to get the. Well, it's a little lower. Uh, that's eleven forty eight. This one eleven sixty eight. So what I was waiting for was just a break out of here, and to take it. So that's why I took it. I, yeah, I mean, there was a reason why I took it here. Usually I, I tend to wait for a whole number break, but uh, I took it right here because I thought, okay, it's broken free of, on that weekly chart. So 
This is where I took it, right here at 1178. And look what it did, popped all the way up to 1233. Great percentage move. I didn't hold on to everything, of course, then. I took some out right around 1195. I took some out at 1215. And then on the way down before it broke down through 12, 1205. So that kind of made my day. You really didn't have to trade very much after that. And, and I didn't, <laughs> you know, it was that simple. I did take one trade from uh, Real, had mentioned this one in the pre-market. Uh, worked out not bad. I mean, I made about five or six cents. I was hoping it would really fit, start to fill this void here, but it was an interesting uh, play. Uh, there was news on this stock. Uh, the stock popped, and obviously, I took uh, you know, in taking the trade, hoping that it would start to fill some of that void, but it just hasn't done it. And I got into that trade at 1819, right about here. It did have a nice move all the way up to 18, uh, 1839. And then it came back down. This was when I was on my break. I hopped off my machine <laughs> and sold it right there. All right, everybody. I want to get back into the room. Soli is another one that I'm kind of still interested in. It's been all over the place today. Um, you know, in fact, I was saying in the room that had it, I, I was looking to take this. Uh, let's see. I was looking to take this on a 19 break in the pre-market right there. This is the pre-market. It's getting a little hard to read now. We've got this, uh, I'm gonna have to ask uh, the developers to, to make a change here because, oh no, 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 I, I, they're, they're right, I'm sorry. So there's the pre-market high. I was, I was waiting for a break here and then it did this. It came all the way back down here, popped all the way back up to 1950. It's come back down, so it's all over the place. It had some, uh, you know, obviously great news for it yesterday. It had a tremendous run. So actually thinking that I might wake up this morning and it would have a okay, good second day continuation. But uh, so far, it's, uh, you know, kind of hanging in there. But it is very, very whippy. Not an easy day trade, that's for sure. All right, everybody, I want to get back into the room. So I'll bring back the capture program. And if you have any questions for me, this is the email address you can use. A link for our free room. And I'll open the room tomorrow at 9 o'clock. Hope to see you in the room tomorrow. Bye-bye.